Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from scrapbookingwithme.com and Me Crafty Scrapper here on YouTube and Instagram and Me Crafty Scrapper Creates on Facebook. Uh, today is another episode of M Scrapbusters and I'm challenging you to make any size library pocket. Um, I do not have a set template as far as measurements on library pockets. I've made library pockets for years and years and years and years. I have a video about library pockets. Um, but I wanted to show you that they do not have to be exact measurement, same size, you know, library pocket. Now, my favorite size is four inch wide library pockets, but you don't have to make them like that. You can make library pockets any size you would like. This one is two inches by one and a half inches. So you can make them any size you would like. I have some already cut in the four inch diameter and I will show you how to make these simple, simple, simple little library pockets. Easiest little project ever and beautiful things to add to your scrapbook pages, your journals, art journaling, whatever. Love making library pockets. Now I already have this one scored. I'm going to, uh, oh, I've already got that one scored. <laughs> Uh, I'll show you though, They're, they are four inches wide. These just happen to be six and a quarter inches tall. It was pieces of scrap. I did not check the height. I just made sure that they weren't too tall because, you know, you don't need one the size of your journal page. I don't know, maybe somebody does want to make them the size of their journal page, but you don't have to have them that tall. These just happen to be six and a quarter from whatever project I was working on. So a lot of people go, oh yeah, just cut it just a little bit um, less than half. Mm, I don't like that. I like going at least, two, oh, let's see, one, two, three, four inches below the height. So, you know, I would do this one at two and a fourth. Now, Whichever place that you do your next score line, that's going to be your main pocket at the bottom, okay? So, what I tell people when they're making library pockets is, do you want a lot showing on the back? Or do you want it very, you know, little showing on the back? So, here's just a little bit showing on the back. And then these have a little bit more showing on the back. So wherever you score this pocket, that's gonna tell you how much backing you're gonna have that is shown. Now, the back of this is not directional, so I should be good as far as that goes. I want that to be the back of my pocket. So I think I'll go at two and a half on this one. Okay, and before you start folding, go ahead and do quarter inch on each side. Okay, so we've got a six and a quarter inch tall piece of cardstock, just scrap cardstock. I have scored it at two and a half inches, and then I've turned it. And on the long side, I've scored at a quarter inch and then flipped it over and scored at a quarter inch again. Okay, then you're going to need a really good pair of scissors. And you want to fold up that two and a half inch score line that you did on the side where it's going to be the pocket. Okay. And then you're going to flip it back down, come down into that just a little bit. I'm going to ink my side so you can see. Okay, here's my fold. 
and now I've come down into that pocket just a little bit but on the outside and then I'm going and cutting up that score line where the back is going to be okay and same thing on this side but I have to turn it this way and cut down my score line first and you can totally use a trimmer a paper trimmer for this you don't have to do it freehand like I'm doing so here's my fold and I'm just gonna go off into that okay and then you've got built-in gussets on your pockets like so and you're gonna fold them up and then there is your library pocket now if you cannot cut straight like moi then you're gonna have just a little bit showing on the edges so if you want to use that paper trimmer go for it but the way I fix that first I'm gonna put some glue on my gussets just a little bit of glue and make sure it stays on your gusset and then you're gonna fold it up and don't be thinking that you have ruined your library pocket because you can see some of that um, paper on the outside don't worry about that get your gusset all down smooth and then oh I need my sticky scissors because that's got a little bit of glue on the outside of it then without cutting your pocket you're just gonna cut straight up and same thing on this side just got a barely little bit right there that's showing now if you've got the um, backer part straight as a board you could put your little gussets on the back side and glue them on the back side but I like the gussets on the front it gives you a little bit more to add in if you wrap the gussets around to the back um, you have a really tight pocket and you can barely get anything in there just saying all right I'm gonna round my top corners and you can you can round these before you put them on there like I did this one I rounded those corners rounded those corners then I glued my gussets down okay you can put a notch in there beforehand you can wait and do it after I like waiting after because I can get it a little straighter I think and more in the middle and then just do a tiny little notch and then you can ink right along you don't have to um, ink it before you assemble it and then ink all of your edges and then this one just screams for some kind of um, decoration on the front. Maybe some book page. Let's open up our ink here. And maybe a little piece of washi. And maybe a little book plate. This is cute. down at the bottom so we're not covering up all of our collage that we've done on the front there so there's our little easy peasy library pocket and I'm going to show you how you can make them any size okay here are my pieces I've gotten out okay we have a piece that is like four and a quarter so I'm going to do my fold line at one and three-fourths okay and then I'm going to do my line down the side
Okay, this one is a tiny, tiny, tiny piece. But I'm just showing you, you can use the same formula and make even the tiniest of scraps a library pocket. So this one is four and a quarter. I scored it at one and three fourths and then on the quarter inch on both sides. And this is not even a um, evenly cut piece of cardstock. It's got torn edges on it. Uh, it does not matter. I'm just telling you. You can make anything a library pocket as long as you've got some length to it. So there's my fold. I'm going to come down into that and then there's my fold again. I'm going to do just a little triangle off into that. Fold over my little gussets. I'm telling you, micro mini. <laughs> Look at that. And then I'm going to tear this top just for a little bit of interest there. So we've got a long, skinny pocket here. I mean, this is like ridiculous looking, but I'm just saying you can make any size library pocket as long as you've got a longer piece of scrap. Look, now that may hold a pencil, a really thin pencil, a paintbrush. <laughs> I mean, it's ridiculous, but I'm just telling you, you can use any size scrap. Oh, Let's do much. this one. It is four inches, and this one will be a square one. I'm not even going to make it um, slimmer. So it's four inches. So I'm going to go one and a quarter for my pocket, and then quarter inch on both sides and this is just a square piece of four by four cardstock that I had left over from something else. You can see the score lines really well on this one. So I'm just cutting all the way down to my fold and then just a little snippet out of that one. So little snippet out and then all the way up my score line. So there's my little shallow pocket. Let me ink it. It's all feathered up. My little shallow pocket. And I'm going to put me a thumb pull in there. And turn over my tiny little gussets glue those, fold them up, and ink my edges just so that you can get the full effect of the entire library pocket. And then there is your little shallow library pocket made out of a 4x4 four four piece of cardstock. So our ending um, measurement is three and a half by just under three inches. Any piece of scrap can be made into a library pocket. I'm just saying. All right, this one is eight and a half inches tall. Four and a quarter would be half, so you don't want to do that because then your pocket's going to be exactly the same height as your backer is. So you want to come down a good inch, inch and a half. I'm thinking maybe, let's just go at three and a half and see what it looks like. You know, it's scrap paper. And then you're always going to do your quarter inch on your length, both sides. Quarter inch score. Okay. And then... You're going to fold up, and that gives me plenty. I love that. Okay, so this one was eight and a half, and I scored it at three and a half. Okay, so little notch out of your fold where you're going to fold up your pocket. 
all the way up and then use the trimmer if you don't have a steady hand which I do not have a steady hand but I'm just for time's sake just cutting it by hand okay and then I'm going to deep round corners and I'll show you how I round the pocket corners too like I did on that one example there okay fold over my gussets and when I have my gussets folded over then I'm going to put the folded over gusset corner in my corner punch and we are punching the gusset and the front of the pocket at the same time so there's my nicely rounded um, let's do see if this will show up at all maybe a little bit shows up just a little bit I'm not going to put a thumb pull in this one get my liquid glue glue down my gussets so there's your skinny tall library pocket made out of some just scrap chocolate cardstock that I had and look when you do those gussets like that look how easily your items glide in and out of there if you were to put your gussets on the back like probably traditional library pockets are you were to put those gussets on the back you would have a super tight pocket and it would give you a lot of resistance and you would have to make the things that you put down in your library pockets really really skinny to try to get it down in there without that resistance but when you have those gussets on the front like that it is an easy easy um, slide for whatever you put in there so um i hate to take my score pal down because i want to make some more <laughs> uh, some of these i already had over here cut so this is six inches tall and i have scored it at two and a quarter and then quarter inch quarter inch so i've already done these and folded up like that so remember, do not cut the gusset off of your pocket. You're just giving yourself a little triangle there. And then cutting all the way up. And then same thing on the other side. I just have to turn mine over. And cut all the way to the fold. And then a little triangle out. Then fold your little quarter inch gussets over that you still have left on the pocket end and fold it up and if you see that some of this is showing around your pocket no worries you can get that taken care of easy peasy once you glue on your pocket and I'm going to round corners put in my thumb notch Okay, go ahead and glue down my gussets. Okay, hold that down for a few seconds. And then where you see that you haven't cut straight along your score line, just go right beside it and go straight down. This one looks pretty good, but it's barely, just barely got a little bit showing. I should have just inked it and went with it. Oh, that looks good. Yep, yeah, I like that. Um, let's do some inking around the edges.
and then we can since we've got those gussets on the front we've got a pocket that kind of pulls out really easily so you can ink that pocket if you forget to do it before you assemble you can ink that pocket up isn't that easy y'all okay let's do an absurd looking piece just to show y'all that yes you can make any size <laughs> piece of scrap into a library pocket and when I said absurd I mean tiny like our little tiny ones here okay these are little bitty this one is three inches tall so I'm gonna go to right under one inch and then I'm gonna go quarter inch I mean the only thing that these would not work on is um, if you had something that you couldn't put the quarter inch on the side you know um, if it was too slim for you to do that all the way down and then notch out notch out and cut all the way up and then our little skinny shallow pocket at the bottom I'm not going to put a notch and I'm not going to ink this one this one is so tiny let's just get it put up there okay I'm gonna get my messy rag and get that excess glue I mean you saw I put like a little bitty dot of glue and it still squeezed out a little bit all right I got a little bit of overhang right there but other than that I don't have any overhang and I'm going to give myself a torn top to that one so there's a tiny little bitty what is that one and a half by just under two inches little library pocket there for you and then this one is three and three-fourths maybe all right so let's do one and three-fourths one and three-fourths pocket with quarter inch and quarter inch okay and then fold up and we barely have anything left at the top but it's still going to be a library pocket it's just going to have a shallow top to it and I'm going to do this I'm going to tear along the top of our pocket I've not done that on any of these yet so I tore along the top of what will be our pocket done a little triangle in this craft piece of cardstock and then straight up and then straight down the other side and a little triangle turn over our gussets I'm going to ink the top of this and then we're going to glue down our gussets and then ink along the top there and all of the sides and then you have this little tiny library pocket with a nice sandwichy gusseted pocket there so I'm telling y'all any size scrap can be made into a library pocket now here are all of them from the tiniest little bitty scraps to our larger four inch five inch scraps these are so easy and I love making library pockets I love adding library pockets to my journals so pretty 
And then, you know, some of that um, white backed paper, some paper that you have that is not um, double sided, you could totally use this and make the pattern as your pocket and fold it over and the white would be the back and you're going to have tags and stuff in these anyway so you won't be able to see the white much or you could decorate that too but that's an idea for any of your cardstock that's not double sided too so there is the project for today's M's Scrap Busters. It is super duper simple, but I wanted to show you that you do not have to have exact measurements to make library pockets. You can make library pockets out of any size scrap. And that is just right up my alley for M Scrap Busters. I hope you have enjoyed this video today. If you make some library pockets, any size library pockets. I want you to use the hashtag mscrapbusters so I can find you and leave you some love. Y'all have a great day. I will see you in the next video. Make sure to like and leave me a comment. See ya. Love ya. God bless. Bye y'all.